touch gloves, yeah, it'll be all right. Hi guys and welcome to today's video which is going to be my study tips on how to do really well in your upcoming exams. I know that there are finals in America soon and the GCSE final and A level final exams in the UK are in May and June time. So pretty close. So I thought around now time would be a really good time to do this video because a lot of people are starting to revise for these finals. Including me, I'm actually doing about 12 or 13 exams in May and June time for my final A levels and hopefully if they go well I'll be off to university in September. I made the mistake last year of starting to revise way too late, like the middle of April, May time, just as my exams were actually coming up. So I felt really, really unprepared. I remember I sat there trying to do my history revision at 5 a.m. on the morning of the exam, and that exam didn't go very well. I got a fee, which actually isn't that bad, but I personally thought that I was good enough at history to get an A. The only reason why I didn't was because I didn't revise early enough. So I seriously cannot stress that enough start to revise now. There is no harm in starting to revise too early. It will mean you're less stressed out and more prepared for the exams. If you were just curious, my exam results from when I was 16 was seven A stars and four A's, and last year I received A, 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 B, B, and this year I'm predicted A star, A star, A star, A, A. So yeah, there's quite a lot of pressure on me for these exams this summer. So yeah, these are just some tips that I found really useful when I'm starting to revise for exams. So let's go on with the video. So the first and probably the most important tip that I have is to find a suitable place to study. Whether this is in a library or a dedicated room in your house to study, you need to find a place where you can do all your work. Because normally laying on your bed is not a very good place to study. It's far too comfortable and you don't feel like you're actually doing work. You need somewhere you can sit upright with good lighting to make sure that you're focused and can get the work done. Also, if you're laying on your bed, there's more chance that you'll fall asleep. I personally I personally find it really helpful to go into my local library because then it's completely silent, they give you free Wi-Fi and there's no distractions. Whereas at home I have my parents and my brother who are always making noise and so I can't really concentrate. There's also the fridge at home and I like to go down and get some food whereas in the library obviously you can't. Another tip that I have is to create a study plan. This has been completely invaluable to me, it's helped me so much in planning out my revision. Because last year I spent far too long on one or two subjects and just left the others. But with a study plan, it makes sure that you revise every single subject and you don't make the same mistake as I did. If you revise from a revision book, it's really helpful to put on a certain day, I want to revise pages 23 to 27, and then plan a certain number of pages for each additional day until you realize that you've got enough time to complete the whole book. Also, I find having page numbers instead of having an allotted time for that subject a really good thing because you have let's say four pages and if you get down to it don't get any distractions then you can do it in 20 or 30 minutes whereas if you have an hour you get really really bored and you're sitting there thinking oh my goodness I just want this hour to go and then you go on Facebook and Tumblr and Twitter and YouTube and you don't get the revision done also it allows you to prioritize your exams and so if you have a few exams in May then make sure that you put a lot of revision for those May exams at the start and maybe smaller amounts for the exams that you have in June because when the May exams are out of the way you then have loads of time to revise for the June exams. Another tip that I have is to find what learning style suits you. So for example you can be an auditory learner or you can be a visual learner. You can find all the different types of learners online and I think you can do tests online to find out what type you are. Once you've found out what type you are then you can research what kind of revision methods will work for you rather than doing revision that's kind of ineffective. For example I'm definitely not an auditory learner. Anything that I hear I just don't take in and so I'm definitely better at just writing out my notes and memorizing them and that is the revision method that has worked for me since I was about 14. Another tip that I have that is really 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 important is to ask for help from your teachers. That is what they're there for, that is what they're paid for. If you don't understand something then go to them at break or lunchtime and I'm sure that they'll be happy to help. 
Their job is to give you the best grades that you can get. There's nothing wrong with going up to your teacher and saying, please sir, can you help me because I literally just don't understand this. The people who do the best in exams are the ones who go and ask for help because then they understand everything. It's so much better to do that than realize that you don't actually understand most of the content. Because when you get to the exam, you'll have so many gaps in your knowledge that you won't perform to the best of your ability. Credit to my economics teacher, Mr. Fisher, who kind of inspired that tip. We always end up watching my videos at the end of his class on a Friday afternoon, so just wanted to give you a shout out. He's a teacher who really advocates going and asking for help. So for everything in economics that I don't understand, then I go to him and say, well, I don't understand this, and he sits down with me and actually explains it all. So at the moment, I feel quite prepared for my economics exam, as opposed to some other exams where I haven't asked for help yet. Another tip that I have is don't stress out about the exam. Stressing is completely counterproductive. There is nothing worse than having revised loads and loads at home as to go into the exam and then your mind completely goes blank. That is because you're so stressed out. You need to sit down and think, at the end of the day, these exams won't dictate everything in my life. If you fail them, which you probably won't if you study, then it doesn't matter. You can still be successful and not have qualifications. But obviously I'm not advocating not revising. I do definitely think you should revise, but if you come out with a really bad grade after you've revised for loads and loads and loads, nothing you can really do about it. You've tried your hardest and that is all that matters. And the last tip that I have, which is probably the hardest one, is to keep motivated. Motivation is so hard when the material is so boring, but you just need to find a way to motivate yourself. Perhaps envisage when you finish your last exam and you're free for the whole summer. So when I think, oh my goodness, I don't want to do this revision, I think by June the 18th, I will be free from school forever. I will never have to go back to school and I am so excited about that. Not I don't like my school, I'm just so excited to start something new. I know to start that new thing, I'll have to revise at the moment. I say to myself, I have less than three months left, you can get through this. Envisage yourself opening that exam sheet and seeing all the amazing grades that you've got and how proud you are of yourself. That will only happen if you motivate yourself right now. If you want to do well, you need to realise that you do have to study. But this study is only temporary, so stick at it. So yeah, they were my study tips. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Video and it really helped you in your studying and preparation for exams. I just wanted to say a big good luck to everyone doing their exams in the summer and I promise you if you start to revise now you'll be more than prepared for the summer. Just remember stick at it and keep going because we are all in this together. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time guys. Bye I love you.